Let's go ahead and take a look at this one. Um, so again, if we use our triangle, um, if we use our propor triangle proportionality theorem, all right, what we're looking at here is we know that we need to find the ratio for these to be parallel, right? For these proportions to be parallel, we have to have AD is to DB is equal to AE is to EC. Not like a comma C, right? Huh? This is number five. So to pr prove that they are parallel, we need to be able to have that proportion, right? To prove these lines are parallel, that's the triangle proportionality theorem. We need to, that's what we need to prove. So let's go and see what we can figure out. Do we know what AD is? Well, let's actually do AE and EC first. AE is 30, right? So I'll fill that in. Do we know what EC is? Is there any number for EC? No, but if we know that's 45 and that's 30, then we know that EC is 15, right? So that makes sense. That has to be 15, right? Has to be. Now, the next one is, do we know what AD is? AD says 2DB, OK? So I write 2DB. And here, the length of DB, well, that's just going to be DB. twice the length of db, 2db, twice the length of it. All right, But now you guys look at this and say, do, are these the same? Are we going to cross multiply and so forth? Now you could cross multiply and kind of see what you're going to get at. But what I want you guys to understand is we can also just simplify these, yes? Well, and I can see that um, 15 doubled is 30. Yeah, exactly. And if, so if that's db, that's double db. If that's 15, that's double 15, right? And the same way, guys, if you just simplify these, the db is eliminated out. If you simplify these, 15 divides in there, so it's really 2 over 1 is equal to 2 over 1. So is the ratio the same? Yes. Yeah, the ratio is the same. Therefore, those we can now show are going to be parallel lines. Okay? And there you go.